thank you for tuning in to Blue Dog Radio. This is your host, The Wag. So a viral video is spreading quickly, and I was even hearing about it on NPR just earlier. This video reveals the shocking truth that wealthy people make lots of money. <gasps> well, let's get serious for a moment. Yes, it does not come as a shock to me that 1% of the population is extremely wealthy. And that, in of itself, is not really a problem. If there is a ton of wealth in this country, and this country is so wealthy that even the people at the bottom have enough food to be fat, then we need to be asking ourselves, how bad do we have it, really? Now, here's the questions we really need to ask. That 1%, how did they obtain that wealth? Did they obtain the wealth doing something good for the country? Did they obtain it um, by, say, inventing something that is useful? Or did they obtain that wealth by hurting us in some way? Another question we need to ask, of course, is are they paying their fair share in taxes back to the system? I would like to make some modest proposals that can at least ensure that our system is more fair. One proposal is to go right back to Article 1, Section 8 of the Constitution, and remember that we, Congress, has the power to collect tariffs. If these people are making their money by sending our jobs to China to exploit slave labor at the expense of honest American workers, that needs to be stopped. We've already got a 35% tariff on tires from China, but we need more. We need tariffs on shoes, clothing, everything that comes from a country with no regard for even the most basic of human dignities. And that needs to continue until the government of China starts to care about the people of China. Now, another proposal I would like to make is that we make our tax system truly fair and equitable once again, like it was at the end of the Reagan administration. There's something seriously wrong when billionaires are paying 14% of their income in taxes and people who, say, barely make a million, still a lot of money, but they're paying like 28% or 30%. Why does Stephen King, that great horror author, why does he pay 28% of his income in taxes while Mitt Romney pays 14% and Mitt Romney could probably pay Stephen King 20 times with his income? That needs to change. I am not calling for any massive redistribution of wealth. I'm just saying that billionaires can pay 22 or 25 percent of their income, you know, once all is said and done, and that's not going to kill them. They can still be extremely wealthy, and my goal is not to stop them from being extremely wealthy. I'm just asking them to give something back. Well, I am going to be starting a new channel soon, as I mentioned last time. And I'm going to go ahead and run some names by you. In the comments, uh, tell me what you think of these. Thinking of maybe calling my channel uh, Wag the Blue Dog, or Blue Dog Wag, Blue Dog Rants, Center Rants, maybe Centrance, or Talk Center. Those are just some brainstorming ideas I'm throwing out there. If you've got some suggestions of your own, run them by me. Or if you like any of those ideas, run them by me. In the end, I'm just going to pick the one that I think will be the most eye-catching. Basically, my goal is this. I've been holding back on this channel because I'm sort of halfway academic and halfway ranting, and I'm neither one way or the other. And I think I really need to just go all the way infotainment on here. You know, I'll be an academic in the classroom and on my academic channel. But we centrist. What we are lacking is someone who just rants off, you know, who just gets people fired up. And I might as well take a crack at it. We'll see what happens. But that's where I'm going to go with this new channel. So let me know what you think. Uh, thank you for tuning in. This is The Wag signing off. <laughs>